poster for your presentation for the ISCN this year. This year is a little bit different than last year because we're not actually printing our posters this year. We're actually submitting them digitally and the Carrick Institute, the ACFN, and the sponsors have been able to get together uh, some LED televisions, uh, like 50-inch televisions on stands that we're going to have all of the poster presentations on. So this is going to make them easier to read. Uh, it's going to make them clearer, more vibrant, and also save you some costs, uh, for the author some costs, uh, on printing posters. So it's going to be really, really cool. But because we're doing them on these 50-inch, 4K high definition LED TVs, we need to make sure that our posters look good. So what I want to do is just walk you through a little tutorial on how to make a nice looking poster uh, for your presentation this year. So this is Microsoft PowerPoint. I'm on a Mac, so this is what it looks like. Windows might be a little bit different or it might be the same. I don't know. I've never really used the PC before, but what we're going to do is we can actually use some of these templates that come with um, that come with the computer. So let's take a look at this one. This one here, depth, that looks kind of neat. Double click on it. All of a sudden now we have a slide open. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into at the top bar here, we're going to hit design and we just want to make sure that we're in the widescreen mode. We want it widescreen. Now if you don't like this green, they have a couple different color options that are there for you. I like the green. Let's go with it. The first thing I want to do is I want to delete some of these text boxes because I'm not going to be using them. So let's delete that and delete that. The next thing I want to do is I want to designate some space for me to put some of my text. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's create a shape and let's make it, there's make, let's make one all the way up here across the top, maybe about like that big. And um, let's actually go like this, make it a little bit bigger like that. And then we're going to make two more boxes. Let's make this one. It goes all the way across, kind of like this. And let's make one more box underneath it by hitting shapes, selecting the square, and give it a little space below it, and then take it the rest of the way down like that. Okay, so what we've done here is we've created three separate boxes that we're going to use for some content. Um, if you're a little OCD like I am, you want to make sure all the boxes are kind of centered and evenly spaced across the sides and tops and bottom. So I think that looks pretty good. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to fill in content. Now, if you don't like the colors of these boxes, you can certainly shake and change them. So let's just say if we want to do instead of that greenish color, let's do like a, a light gray. That looks kind of nice, right? A light gray, light gray, and a light gray. As a matter of fact, you know what? I changed my mind. Let's do a dark gray. That'll look better. Dark gray, dark gray and a dark gray. The reason why I did that, we're going to make the font white so it pops off the page a little bit more. So you could pick a different color. Once again, this is just a tutorial. Now what I want you guys to do is go to the, uh, the, the abstracts that you typed up and submitted. So this is an abstract that I submitted. We're going to just copy and then we're going to click on the box on the top there. And when we double click on it, what ends up happening you see is it turns to these different, uh, these different boxes to change the size. After you do that, do your control paste and then all of a sudden now you have the title of your paper in there. If you don't like the font and you want to change your font, now's the time to do it. So I like this one that I call Avenir Next Condensed. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll skip another line. Let's come back here. Let's grab our authors, copy and paste. Okay, but what we saw there is that now we've kind of popped outside the box. So let's fix our font sizes, uh, fonts rather, and then, oops, I missed it. Hit enter. And then let's shrink that font down until it actually fits inside there. So it looks like a 10 font is going to be the best font size for us for this. Um, and let's just make sure it's a little more centered. So, and then there you go. So we've got the title of your paper and we've got the authors of the paper. Next thing we're going to do is come over here. Let's copy uh, presentation. We're going to pop that in the next box, double click it, hit paste, change your fonts. And then let's change our font size so it fits. Ooh, look at that. One click would fit perfectly. Now the next, you see I've got a lot more here. So it's going to copy all of this because I got to fit all of that inside of this box here. Now, chances are when I do it, it's not going to fit, right? So you see it there. So just see how small you need to make it uh, before 
it doesn't work. So right now we're at an 18 font size. You don't really want to go any smaller than a 10 font. So it's 14, 12. Oh, look at that. At 12 or 11, let me see if we got 12. Nope. At 11, we've made it work. Okay, so there you go. There's all of your text inside of these boxes. And as you can see, I've got a little bit of extra space there. So let's just do this. ISCN logo. Um, you can pop in the ISCN logo there. Or what might be even better, if you have a cool picture of some sort, pop in a picture. So click back on home, Oop, went away, and click picture. Go picture from a file. And I've got a neat little picture here that I downloaded off the internet. Maybe we'll just pop that in instead. So this is uh, kind of like this cool little drawing of a brain. So we're gonna shrink it smaller, just so small enough to fit up there. You might wanna put your clinics logo in or something like that. But what you see is now you've got a little bit of this uneven space, so then just go ahead and fill it in with the rest of the gray box. And then there you go, you've got your poster. So now there's a really, really important step in this that you can't mess up. Um, it, it will just mess everything all up. So you're gonna go to File, hit Export, and at the bottom of the screen here, you're gonna see it says PDF. We're gonna click on that, and it gives us all these different types of files that we can export this as. PDF, MP4, which is a video, MOV, which is a QuickTime file, and JPEG, which is a, uh, an image that you kind of like, uh, JPEGs are what you take out of your video, of your still camera, your cell phone. So that's what we want. We want a picture, so a JPEG picture. And when we click on that, it's gonna say, do you want to save every slide as a picture or just the current slide as a picture? Well, we only have one slide, so we're just gonna hit current slide, but if you did this for all of your posters, you can click every slide and export them all at once. So I'm gonna call this Antonucci002 and then uh, one, because I already have something in there with the same name, so I don't wanna name the same thing. I'm gonna hit export, and voila, it's done. So how do I check to make sure it's there? Uh, let's go ahead to our desktop, and I made that folder called ISCM Posters. And here what we could do is we can go ahead and preview it. And there's the poster. That's the poster that we made. You can see it had the title, the graphic. It's in high quality and it looks really, really good. Now, um, if you want to get even a little bit more kind of uh, sophisticated, if you will, let's go ahead and go back here. I'm going to exit out of this. Not going to save it. And let's go new presentation. And this time we want a blank presentation. We're going to delete these boxes. And let's just say you've got a really cool picture uh, that you want to play in the place in the background. What I actually did is I had a, uh, a graphic designer make a background for me because I wanted it to really, really pop. I wanted people to really see these posters. So I'm going to go ahead and select this background, insert it. And what you'll see here, um, let me just make sure that the size is proper. Design, I'm not follow my own rules, right? Making sure the widescreen is there. We're gonna put it in that top corner and then grow it big all the way to the side. Now we have a cool background. You see, we've got the three boxes again. We've got space for the title, we've got a space for our presentation, and we've also got a space for all of the, uh, the text of the body, right? So now what we'll do is come back to home. We're gonna create a new text box. Uh, we're gonna do a text box that's gonna go from there all the way out to, well, we'll say right about there. Perfect. Let's grab our title again. Copy. So now you guys get to see this twice in two different ways, right? Paste it. It's a black font right now, so you're not going to see it. So let's go back here and change the color to white. White pops out nice on a black. Put in our favorite font again. And now what we can do is actually make the font bigger. So it really jumps off the page there, right? So that looks like a pretty good size. No, you know, a little bit too big. We'll stick with that one right there. And then once again, let's grab another text box. Let's make a text box from here to about there. And this is where we're gonna put our authors, right? Our authors, copy them and paste them. And then once again, it's too big and they're in black, so let's put them in white, put them to Avenir. That's my font. And then let's go ahead and decrease their size. And what I wanna do is I wanna justify this to the right. So it's as far to the side of the screen as possible. And you see now it's kind of all aligned uh, and it looks really, really good there. Make sure it's right in the middle. Okay, so next we're gonna wanna make sure we grab our presentation again, or this could be your background. And this time what we're gonna do is we can't double click the box because it's not a box that's in PowerPoint. So we actually have to make a box, right? So we'll make a box right like this. And we'll stop it right there. 
paste it. Okay, so there's our presentation and change our font. Cool, and we can actually make that a little bit bigger. Perfect. Now if you wanted to, we can get a little creative. What we could do is we can actually make this a little bit smaller, right? Let's make it smaller about like that. And then what that allows us to do is allows us to put something over in the sidebar there. So like that. And let's go ahead and grab all of our examination, uh, which could be your methodology and your conclusion. And now we're going to make another text box inside of that shape that we've made in a custom background. Paste it. And it's like, oh man, it's all big again. We've got to go Avenir. And then let's just see how small we have to make it. Remember, we don't really go, want to go any smaller than like a size 10. So there's our size 10. It's barely, barely, barely squeezing in. So uh, we might have to go to a 9. And that's going to be up to your discretion. So 9 is going to be pretty small. Um, and what you can maybe do is I can actually do a, a 9. And we can go about that big. And we could pay, paste another graphic over there just to kind of fill in the space so it doesn't look like all text. We don't want it to look like all text like this, like that. And we can come back over here, pick in that cool little file that we had in our folder before, which is right there. And let's shrink that down. Now we can put that right here. So if you had like a, uh, I don't know, if your article was about a hockey player, you can put a cool picture of hockey there or something like that. And uh, since we never used the space at the top, let's go ahead and fill it up with words. And maybe we can even make the font a little bit bigger. Nope, don't like it. So. As you can see, it's just kind of playing around and getting something that you like. Once you have something that you like, you're going to go to File, Export, Export as a JPEG. Make sure it says 1920 by 1080 because we want a high definition image. And then you're going to save it. So this is another poster, so we'll do three. Save it and then just confirm that it's saved before you scrap it. You might even want to save the PowerPoint. It's not going to hurt. But as you can see, it worked pretty well. Uh, no problems with it. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. I hope that uh, this makes it a little bit easier to make a nice high quality presentation. And I'm looking forward to seeing all of your posters this year. So if you have any questions, go ahead, feel free to shoot me a message. All right, take care.